So for this video, I'm going to show you how effective a firming agent like calcium carbonate is on dough just by using a simple water and flour mixture. We are going to be making two different batches of dough. They will both have 250 grams of basic all-purpose flour and they will both have three-fourths cup of water as well. Here I'm measuring out the flour using a basic kitchen scale putting little portions of flour into a bowl using a spoon until I reach the correct amount. I have already measured out the water at this point, so you won't be seeing me do that. Once we are done measuring the flour and water, we can add them together. Right there I'm showing you that the water is at the 3 fourths cup marker. Once I add the flour and water together, I start mixing. I start off using a rubber spatula to make sure I can scrape all the sides down to get any sort of dry flour into the mixture. I then use my hand to help the mixing to make sure that is even throughout the dough. I try to make sure that I get rid of any sort of dry spots that could be present in the dough. Once the dough has reached this sort of really sticky consistency and there are no more dry spots, I'm done mixing. I then repeat the same step for the other batch of dough as well. Here I'm showing you that I've mixed both batches of dough. As you can see, they both have this very sticky consistency, which is what we want. Once we know that both of these batches of dough have the same consistency and the same size, now we can cover them and let them sit for about 30 minutes. This time is for auto lice. This helps to further hydrate the dough and to help the gluten bonds develop more in the dough to create a more of a stretchy kind of dough for kneading. Now 
that the dough has rested for about 30 minutes, I can start to add the calcium carbonate to it. This is pure white calcium carbonate powder with no other additives in it. I'm going to be adding about half a tablespoon to it and sprinkling it on top of the dough and around the dough. Then I can start kneading the dough by folding it into itself many different times. I will later add another quarter tablespoon to it so that I can make sure that the dough has enough of it. While kneading, we are trying to make sure that we are folding air, we are mixing the calcium carbonate into the dough. After some time, we'll have a very nice consistent color along with a soft feel to the dough. Once the dough has had enough kneading, I will form it into a nice ball for baking. Once we are done with the batch of dough with the calcium carbonate kneaded into it, we can start the same step for the other batch of dough with just flour. For this step, we're just going to be using the same exact basic flour that we used before. And we're going to be sprinkling this on top and around the dough instead of this calcium carbonate.
looking at these two different batches of dough, we can see that one is far more lumpy than the other. The dough on the left is the one with calcium carbonate added to it, and the dough on the right is the one with just flour added to it. This is due to calcium carbonate helping with fortifying the gluten structures in the dough, making the dough more consistent all around. It also helps with keeping things such as moisture under control by slowing down certain reactions inside the dough. So it is very useful if you wish to have dough around a bit longer than you would think.